guys, so today I'll be doing my very first uh, first impression review video and it's going to be on the L'Oreal Nude Magique Eau de Teint Weightless uh, Bare Perfection Fresh Feel Foundation. I've seen this pop up on a couple of channels recently and it just piqued my interest and I wanted to try it out because it looked pretty and it looked stunning on all the others so I was like I gotta try it out. So this is my very first first impression review video. I want to do lots more. I absolutely love watching them so I think making them is going to be a lot of fun as well. Um, so yeah without any further ado let's go right on to the application part and then we will see from there how I like it. So first I'm going to take a little closer look at what is on the packaging. So the L'Oreal Paris Nude Magique Eau de Teint Fresh Feel Foundation Weightless Bare Perfection with SPF 18 comes in this glass sheer uh, see-through bottle. It has a nice matte finish to the glass and the lid and the uh, sort of detailing comes in a chrome lilac lavender color. At the top of the lid we find the color numbering and name and then in the back we find a full sort of um, how-to guide on how to use this. And L'Oreal describes this as a feather light foundation. It feels light and fresh as water. It instantly fuses with the skin blending seamlessly to leave a silky second skin effect. It has undetectable coverage, silky soft touch, and no makeup feel. It's non-pore clogging SPF 18. That's everything that's on the back. I really like the packaging. I love that the glass has really nice matte feel. I love the color of the chrome lavender purple. Um, so yeah, packaging wise it's absolutely great. I wouldn't want to drop it since it's glass and I don't want everything to be broken like a mirror. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. I am first gonna prime my skin. It's not really priming, it's more of a sort of um, moisturizing base. For that I'll be using my MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance in Radiant Yellow. I use this every single day. I use this with every makeup application so I would be using this when using the L'Oreal Nude Magique on a you know, on a normal basis, really. Okay, so first I'm gonna shake it really well because that is what the directions tell me to do. So shake it so good. I am going to unscrew the lid. Comes without a pump. Sad thing. And I'll be applying this with my Makeup Geek uh, Foundation Stippling Brush because it's my favorite. And I'm just gonna pour some onto the... Oh, it's very runny. Oh God, and I can already tell it is... Oh. It is very runny and this is going to be way too dark for me. I am normally a NC15 by MAC. Um, this is by far, huh, if I can show you without it running down my arms, this is by far not an NC15. I hate it when foundations tell me that they're porcelain, but they're not. So I'm just going to dip my foundation brush in and here we go. I'm going to start off with circular motions just as I normally would apply it. Off the bat, it doesn't seem to be as warm on my hand as it is on my face. It is a little bit more yellow than my natural skin color, but it, it's, it's, it's doable. It's not like, oh my God. I can tell that this gives a silky smooth finish. It's very, it, it glides. It's very soft and smooth and, and silky really. I can tell that it does cling on to dry parts of my face a little bit. I can tell so far. Okay, so coverage wise, it is really uh, shocking me because I did not expect this to have such a great coverage because it is so thin and it, because it's so liquidy and runny and because it it's marketed more as a sort of sheer, sort of sheer, sheer coverage. But I am really shocked at how good this coverage is. I, I actually really like that. Okay, so that is what my skin looks like after applying the Nude Magique. Uh, I did just apply one layer. I did not build up layers upon layers upon layers. It looks very natural, but without going, you know, um, too sheer. So what I always do when trying out a new foundation is get my up-close mirror, my little Marilyn up-close mirror, and really look at what it's doing to my face. So I can tell that it gives a beautiful smooth finish. It really glides onto the face. It feels very velvety and smooth. One thing I'm definitely noticing though is that it clings onto dry parts in my face. At some parts 
it really clings on to the skin and it kind of separates there and it kind of looks a little bit patchy. I can definitely tell that right here between my brows. In fact, the more I look at it and the closer I go with my mirror, I can actually tell that it really clings on to like drier patches and it kind of separates where it's not dry. But at parts where my skin isn't dry, it looks absolutely fantastic. So I think this foundation is gonna be a little bit better for people with a combination to oily skin instead of a combination to dry skin people. So that is my initial first review of this product for now. I am gonna finish off my face with some concealer, brows, eyes, lips, the whole majig. Then we go look back at the finished look. I will show you some close-ups and from there we will go throughout this entire day So I'll be right back. All right, so I did the whole shebang I applied brows eyes lips everything and I also did a little bit of additional Concealing because I would always do that with ever whatever foundation I'm gonna wear that day So I did notice that after applying some concealer and a little bit of Chanel powder that I do love the finish a whole lot more I also noticed that after concealing it took that sort of of breakage and cracking away a little bit so it made it way more pretty and although the finish is really velvety and smooth it was a little bit too matte for my liking so I added a little bit of additional um, highlighter to my complexion and I actually love what that does to it in the end. So at first I wasn't so sure because it was so matte and because it really clinged on to those drier parts of my face but after doing you know bronzer and highlighter and eyes and everything I think it really ties in together and it, I think it looks pretty damn good. If I go up close I can still see some of the separation uh, not all the concealer took that away but for most of all I love the coverage I love how soft and glidey and uh, glidey is that a word it looks super natural although if it was a little bit less matte it would look more natural so so far it is doing very good I was a little bit afraid of the separation and sort of the clinging onto the drier parts but so far it looks really good. So it is a 3.40 p.m. right now. Um, a little bit of a late schedule today. And I'm gonna go ahead and film a couple of videos right now. And I can tell you that under these lights, um, my makeup tends to sweat and break off quite fast. So, um, and then of course I'm gonna have dinner, which is gonna be outside of the house. And I'm gonna go do some magic. And then I will be back in a couple of hours to show you how we're going. So I'm gonna go ahead and film some other videos and do some other majigs and then I will be back. Okay guys, it's now a little bit over 6 p.m. So it's been about two and a half hours and I gotta say that the longer this is on your skin, the nicer it becomes. That matte finish that I thought was a little bit too matte is now gone. That now has been replaced with a little bit of my natural oils coming out throughout the hours. And if I take my close-up mirror again, I definitely think that the foundation looks a lot more um, natural and radiant right now so I do think that uh, this is one of those foundations that you know you start off really you know like meh and then once they wear in they become so gorgeous and beautiful I have a little bit of a bad skin day I have a few pimples here and there and I can tell that this pimple right here is showing through a little bit and around my nose it's now starting to crease a little bit. It has started to move a little bit into the fine lines around my lips and sort of around the nose area what I talked about. But other than that, I think it looks way more natural and pretty than it did when I first applied it. But so far, I'm liking it. Okay, so welcome to the day after. I just filmed a tutorial on uh, a Rihanna look, but I just wanted to come back and really tell you what I think of the L'Oreal Nude Machique. First of all, I do want to put out there that I think that this is more suited towards the more oily skinned people because I was kind of having a, a dry skin day yesterday. My, my skin kind of fluctuates between dry and oily and combination and so I kind of noticed that because I was having more of a dry skin day it really clinged on to dry parts in my face plus it kind of separated at parts where 
I didn't have a lot of moisture. So that was kind of a really downside for me. I do think though that this wears beautifully. It might not start out that beautiful, but throughout the day it gets more and more beautiful because it, your natural oils kind of match in with the foundation, making it look more natural and more dewy. I think in total I wore this foundation for about eight to nine hours and at the very end before taking my makeup off, I noticed a little bit more separation on my nose around my nose around my mouth and my t-zone a little bit I do really like how it was wearing but it's not the longest lasting foundation I have ever tried but the billion dollar question will I get this again once I run out no it has a beautiful coverage it smells amazing it looks very pretty on the skin after about two to three hours and it's so natural and pretty but it's a little bit too powdery and dry for on my dry skin days and i feel like on my oilier days it breaks apart and separates too fast i also wish it was a little bit more long wearing and let's not forget when a brand tells you that their lightest color is porcelain be porcelain i will put all the info on where to get this and how much this retails for on my blog nicktutorials.com and other than that I hope you enjoyed my very first first impression review video I hope I did good uh, just let me know any additional things you want to see in future first impression videos so I can add that in other than that I hope you enjoyed you can follow me on Twitter Instagram and Facebook that all is Nikki tutorials of course don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it again I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you on the next one bye bye